Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the custom reporting function in TBC and use network adjustment report as an example. Uh, a lot of you have used the reports in TBC, um, but sometimes you may realize it's not prepared in the exact same format you would like to have uh, for your project requirement. So a TBC uh, provided some customizable templates so that you can add or remove some fields from the report and um, customize the, the layout um, in order to generate a report just ne uh, needed for your project. How do we do it? Um, so if you go to the quick access bar and go to the reports drop down list, you will find this create custom report icon. Click on it. And first thing is to give this new report a name. Uh, since I'm going to work with network adjustment, I'm going to call it uh, my network adjustment report. And for the report source data, here are all the uh, predefined report templates TBC prepares. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose network adjustment report. Then I'm going to hit browse button and choose the existing template, custom network adjustment report. The next thing is to edit the layout and then eventually replace the current report layout file. So let's edit the layout. In this report, you will see all these tables showing up. I'm going to jump right into the table I want to edit, which is called Adjusted Total Station Observations. As you can see right now, this table is um, grouping horizontal circle reading, vertical angle, and the slope distance all in one table um, sorted by the observation ID. But let's say I just want to split this table into three. Uh, the first table will focus on the horizontal circle reading statistics. Second table will be just about vertical angle. Third table will be about slope distance. How am I going to do it? Um, so we can do a control C to copy the existing table and then come down to copy uh, to control V paste it. I will only need three tables. So right now that's all good. For the first table, I will change the table name to horizontal circle reading. And I can do the same thing for the second table. I will call it vertical angle. And for the third one, it will be called slope distance. And you can use the uh, Microsoft Word tools to change the formatting of the table. Oops. All right. And then we, uh, we are going to uh, adjust what is going to show in each table. So in the first one, I don't need these two uh, rows. So I'm going to choose them, delete the cells, and I'm going to delete the entire row. Also, since we already tell uh, uh, our readers this is going to be a horizontal circle reading table, I no longer need this column. So I'm going to delete the column as well. Then I can also uh, adjust the layout a little bit to make this table centered. So let's do the same thing for the second table. I no longer need the first row, delete cells. This time I will ship cells up. So I'm not going to accidentally remove uh, my observation ID column. Do the same thing for these two rows. Delete entire rows. There we go. And delete the column. Center the table. For the third one, delete. Shift the cells up. And then clean the table. As you can see, um, I'm not really doing anything fancy. It's all the tools we can find from Microsoft uh, Word. Oh, oh. Right. 
All right. And the next thing you can find is um, sometimes uh, for all these uh, grade uh, fields, what, where do they come from? If you click one of them, you will be able to see a field ID and also a short description of what this field is going to be about. Um, if you are quite familiar with the attribute or uh, uh, value you are looking for, you should come to the right side and try to pick the data field you want to add or remove from our list. Depending on the report template you're using, you will see different data fields in this window. But uh, right now, I'm quite happy with our editing. I'm going to save my new template and give it a name. I will save it to a newer version. Now close it and come back to TBC. This time, I'm not going to use the previous um, network adjustment template. Instead, I'm going to reopen the folder and choose our edited template. Now hit OK. Next time, when I'm ready to create network adjustment report, I'm not going to uh, go to the command and generate report over there because that command will still run the default template. Instead, I'm going to come back to the reports list, choose more reports, and find my template. Hit OK. Now let's go into the adjusted the total station part. Here is our horizontal circle reading, vertical uh, angle reading and slope distance reading. Um, here I didn't add a page break uh, in between these table, but you can easily add that afterwards. So each table will have its own page. This concludes the custom reporting function in TBC. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.